Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Second Helpings. What a terrific crowd. Look at all the friends and family. It's so good to see you all. Thank you so much for coming out. Life is busy, and you've made the time to be here for your loved ones today, so thank you for making that time. My name is Linda Broadfoot. I have the privilege of serving as CEO here at Second Helpings um, and getting to see these folks go through this amazing course with these amazing instructors. Um, so we are so proud to celebrate them today. So with that, I get to introduce our students, soon to be graduates, one at a time. We'll welcome, the, welcome them in. Danette Smith Bryce. Carmela Brown. <laughs> Hubert Dwayne Kennedy. That's the first time I've seen Hubert on there. That's the first time I saw that, Hubert. <laughs> Stella Damas. <laughs> Charlotte Douglas. And Akeisha Young. <laughs> and they've been led by our amazing chef instructors, Kyle Burnett and John Askelson. How are y'all feeling? Nervous? You know, I always joke with them, right? You've got your 30-minute speech prepared, right? And then, no, we actually don't want you to speak. Nobody here wants you to speak for 30 minutes, but we're excited to hear from you later today. Um, I just want to be the first to say congratulations. Um, it, is, it is such an honor to have you as a part of the Second Helpings family for these seven weeks and beyond. Um, everyone in this room, everyone in this building, everyone connected to this organization is invested in your success and your happiness moving forward and you know you can't get rid of us right once you're in the family you're in it forever so um, we're going to be you know nagging you keeping in touch with you um, hoping you keep in touch with us keep you informed of your success and we're here for you when you need us when you know maybe you need a little boost too so so thank you for trusting us thank you for participating um, and thank you for all that you've brought to this building these last seven weeks. So we appreciate it. Um, I also get to thank Navient uh, Community Fund for sponsoring this class. This is class 163 of our culinary job training. So that gets us to, I don't know, thousand something graduates um, in our history. So you all are part of a, a tremendous group of people. Um, thank you to our employers that both work with these folks coming in and giving them experiences um, and then also obviously um, offering jobs um, as time goes on as well. So we're th thank you for that. And with that, I get to introduce our amazing speaker this morning, a tremendous partner to Second Helpings, to this program. I believe the students have already met him, uh, Chef Jeff Bricker from Ivy Tech. Thank you, Linda. Good morning, everybody. Congratulations, graduates. I get to be the second one to say that, so I'm so happy to be with you today. I serve as department chair of the Hospitality Administration Program at Ivy Tech Community College, and we had the graduates there yesterday for a tour, and it was quite a fun tour. Uh, we learned from Dwayne that when he was growing up, he snuck into the swimming pool. That was the once, the building room was once a, once a hotel, and the indoor pool area, he was telling us how he snuck in there once when he was younger and was sent home to his mother. And I said, well, we're not going to send you to your mother today. It's okay to be here. It's now an event space, by the way. It's not a pool any longer, but uh, it's so fun to be with you all. Um, I always enjoy reading your stories. And so reading about your dreams, your aspirations. And when I thought about this, when I came today, I was thinking, gosh, this time of year is kind of fall harvest. It's one of my favorite times of year. And um, a great way to spend it here with you as a community partner. <clears throat> I like to say that Ivy Tech, our middle name is community. We are a community college, and it's part of our mission to stay connected to the community and be engaged with you. And uh, as I thought about fall and this, this season kind of harvest, I love the, the change of the season, although it causes a little bit of the allergy kick up, so excuse that. But uh, the leaves turning and the weather turning and 
uh, seeing kind of pumpkins come in and all that fun stuff. And I was just thinking about the uh, a natural law about seed, time, and harvest. And I was just thinking about what you guys have done. You came here with seeds of hope, with aspirations, and I enjoyed reading those. Uh, you all have specific goals, and uh, understanding those really is cool to see what you're doing, <clears throat> to see that you have a vision for it. And to watch that uh, you came here, and you kind of tackled those initial fears probably. I'm sure you had some thoughts, you know, that maybe would have prevented you from coming. But you came, and you stuck it out, and you brought those dreams, those aspirations here, and as seeds, you've planted those. And for seven weeks, they've been nurtured. Thank you, chefs, for doing that, for nurturing, and for the whole Second Helpings family for doing that. Um, and now it's harvest time, so we get to celebrate. And that's the fun th thing about harvest. It's a time of celebration. And uh, what I would say to you is I want to the journey's not over. Learning is a lifelong challenge. And these seeds have come to fruition now. It's harvest time. We're celebrating that with your success. But I want to challenge you to think about what are your next steps. So uh, what seeds will you plant next? Um, I think I know after reading in the, in the book uh, some of the plans that you have are pretty amazing. And it's going to be great for us to, to watch that um, develop. I know I can speak um, on behalf of the chefs that are going to probably express this as well. But one of the greatest joys of an educator is watching your students develop and grow and then watch what they do. Watch their successes and know that you're a part of that. And in, in the same way, it's really a harvest for us as educators as well because we've been planting and nurturing and those seeds of education and uh, it's time to celebrate. So. I just want to congratulate you all and wish you the very best. And we'll be cheering you from the sideline with the whole Second Helpings family and the rest of the community as we watch you uh, continue to plant those seeds and nurture them and grow. And we'll look forward to your dreams coming into fruition. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Chef Kyle Burnett. I'm the program director for the culinary job training program here at Second Helpings. And, uh, you know, I've done quite a few of these now in my tenure, and it never gets old. Um, it never gets old because, like Chef said, I mean, we, we get to spend seven weeks uh, with these beautiful people and understanding uh, their goals, their hopes, their aspirations, and then feed into that what little bit that we can, help them see their potential, and uh, it truly is a blessing to be able to serve you guys to that capacity. Um, I do want to say thank you to uh, not just my peers and co-workers, but also our volunteers, uh, because as you guys know, uh, this place is a very special place, and even though you you're out. You also have Anne and Ashley behind you, um, and but you also have Linda and you have Nora and you have all of the volunteers and uh, the staff and just everybody um, is here behind you, um, cheering for you and rooting you on because we all believe in the mission of Second Helpings, not just the food rescue, not just the uh, hunger relief, but also the training portion, the 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 piece that that. Uh, helps breathe life into your dreams and my little bit that I have to say um, I normally don't as of lately I've just been shooting from the hip I've been doing quite a few of these but for the first time in a while I wrote a little bit of a thought down uh, because it comes from personal experience from myself um, I saw a memory a post of mine that uh, from a few years ago and I it made me think about it. so I wrote it down and it's funny because we all go through things. We all have things that we maybe hope to do or goals that we hope to go after. That's a human thing, right? It's a normal part of the human experience. Uh, but also part of that experience is we psych ourselves out or we get scared or we don't set sail for a long time for whatever reason. We, we, we spend maybe even years saying, I hope to do that one day, right? And, and why is that? But when we actually stop 
putting off going after things or doing things that we, we know we want to accomplish, whether it be goals, ambitions, career moves, whatever it is, and we intentionally say, I will do that. And we follow through, we actually do it, something incredible happens. A part of us dies. I know, I know, bear with me here. How is that a good thing? It's because it's the part of us that dies is those accomplished, I'm sorry, uh, the part of us that dies is in those accomplishments, is the very part of us that was holding us back from seeking after it. That's the part that dies. It's the part that holds us in that position of not pursuing the things that we want. And when we decide that no, we no longer, um, when we decide no longer and we intentionally seek after and pursue those things that we've been putting off, that part dies and that gives room for us to feel alive again. And it allows us to fearlessly seek after the dreams that we thought were dead when really they've been embers, right? Waiting on you to breathe them into flame. So no matter how big your goal may be after this or how little, right? Take that next step. Don't sit on, don't go back to the, uh, the old part of you that kept you from that, right? Because that part of you is alive. You're here now. You, you got here. You told yourself you were going to come here. You told yourself you were going to complete this, that you've been wanting this. Use that as the energy, as, 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 the, uh, as we used to say, the fuel in the jet pack. I'm to serve you guys over the last seven years, and, or seven weeks. <laughs> Feels like seven years sometimes, some of y'all. But we do love you, and uh, we hope the best for you, and can't wait to see what you go do. Chef John. Okay. Yeah, they say I talk soft. But, uh, um, first, I'd like to thank uh, Navient uh, Community Fund for sponsoring the class. Um, without them, we would not have a class. Um, so thank you very much for providing for all these wonderful people here. Um, I'd like to thank Kate uh, from Regents Bank for the financial literacy programs that, that, that we've provided for our students. Um, I'd like to thank Elaine for the life skills and the dance parties. Um, and uh, Chef Bricker, thank you for coming. Um, and I know that uh, kind of putting a full circle thing with, with yesterday and then today, so I really appreciate you taking time out. Um, Chef talked about keeping them cups with room, right? We've talked about keeping or getting rid of the bad so that you have room to put the good in, right? So giving yourself an opportunity to have good, good thoughts about things, get rid of those negative thoughts about why it can't work or why it wouldn't work or why it won't work for me. We've talked about letting that loose. You deserve it. You put in the work. So don't let anybody else tell you anything else. Okay, you're validated. You put in the work. Remember uh, one of our uh, motivational speakers and we have a, a daily motivation and uh, one of the speakers is Eric Thomas and he talked about that you can and you will and you must I mean that's all there is to it there's no other way okay I've tried all the other ways they haven't worked right fruitless nothing to it except pain and you know worry Lean into it. Like, that's what has to happen. Okay? Um, another one 
Denzel Washington becomes and you know how great of a speaker he is and he speaks about all these things and where he started and and how it didn't work out for him and then he just kept working and working and working and the next thing you know after his illustrious career he's back on Broadway he couldn't sing a lick but he's doing it he was right back where he got turned away where he started his journey and the only way that was possible was that he kept going he didn't let that stop him remember he always said fail forward you know all you gotta do is keep keep moving forward you get down get back up because he says the only the only thing you gotta do is get up one more time than you've fallen so remember that y'all. it's not going to be pancakes and balloons every day your chef might yell at you okay but know that they wouldn't say anything to you they just exit you out the door if they didn't care about you and want you to do better Okay? Now, I'm not saying that toxic environments you need to stay in, but I'm saying that, remember, those people are behind you, and we're behind you, and we want you to do better, we want you to do the best that you can do. Okay? Um, I know that some of us get worked up about this, that, or the other. Some of us don't get worked up about things. Find a, find a happy medium. Okay? Find a, a good spot to where you can push but not feel like you're pushing all of yourself all the way, all the time. Save something for yourself. Okay? Don't be everything to everyone. Be everything to yourself. Okay? Um, I'm going to miss you all. You all have um, been a very um, enjoyable class very nice to each other, um, which is helpful. It makes things a lot, <laughs> a lot easier. Um, so carry that out. Spread that love. You know what I mean? Like show everybody that you did all this and then you're bringing this positivity and that's what I'm bringing. I'm bringing, I'm bringing my skill, I'm bringing my positivity. And I want this to be the best for me and everybody that I, I come in contact with. Remember? Okay? I'll take care. All right. On to a little bit of the fun stuff. We have some certificates and awards that we like to pass out. As a, just a way to honor, uh, you know, performance and all of the other things. Um, two of our, our first two awards, our first two certificates, actually, we have a, a, double, a double dose for this one. And this is for the certificate for perfect, perfect attendance. And, you know, it gets difficult to ask somebody to be somewhere every single day, seven, uh, five days a week, Monday through Friday, eight to two, with that it's not a job. You know, this is something that you're giving your time to, and you have all of the uh, life's challenges that could potentially get in the way and barriers that could come up because we know it happens, right, guys? And um, so we do like to honor this, and our... Certificate for Perfect Attendance this time around is going to go to Marie Stella Damas and to Keisha Young. So the next award uh, is a new award. Uh, we we uh, did that the first time last last class, um, and this is the early is on time award. So 
These people show up 15 minutes early every single day, and that is a wonderful trait to have, just so we're clear. Uh, a lot of people operate on this. Early is on time, and if you're on time, you're late. So uh, totally believe in that. Um, you gotta be, got to be there, okay? And without any uh, too much more, Let's bring these two ladies back up here again. Uh, Marie Stella DeMoss and Tatisha Young. Certificate for Outstanding Performance on the SurfSafe exam. So SurfSafe is the National Restaurant Association's um, governing body of food, all things food safety. So they are the be all end all when it comes to that and we uh, make sure that the students are understanding the importance and the value of food safety uh, because we got to keep food safe, right? We got to keep people healthy and um, as chefs, uh, that's probably the most important thing that sometimes, unfortunately, gets overlooked. So our job is to make sure they don't overlook it and understand how important that is as safety is second helping's primary value. And um, so we want to make sure we're extending that into the, the minds of our students as they go out into the workplace. And so um, our certificate for outstanding performance on the Surf Safe exam goes to Who's it gonna be? Charlotte Douglas. So the next, the next certificate um, is for the outstanding performance in knife skills. Uh, this person was hitting the ground pretty, pretty fast. Um, they were ready to go. They um, really leaned into what it took to be right, what it took to be consistent. Um, and that was a big part of this. Um, the person who will receive this award today is uh, Miss Marie Stella Dumas. and certainly not least and most favorite award and the one they've been waiting seven weeks to find out about or five weeks, four weeks uh, the Ralph Comstock Soup Award so every class we do a soup competition it's just a fun lighthearted way of understanding soup fundamentals and uh, we hold this award in honor of Chef Ralph Comstock who uh, was a dedicated volunteer chef and he would come in and work with students and teach them how to uh, work with soups, understand stock making and all of the things, right? Uh, it was so soup related and he would share with them his recipes and uh, Chef was a very well recognized chef across the city. He had served with Airmark for some time. He had um, served as an adjunct instructor at Ivy Tech until he retired and then up to his uh, last day here uh, with us on earth he was an incredible volunteer and so um, we hold this in his honor and our students love it our staff loves it uh, the, everybody loves it we blind draw and uh, then everybody votes on their favorite and at the time we had uh, eight students and there were eight soups and um, which makes it difficult and we mix them up so nobody knows who's what. And 
and they've been waiting. And the winner of this class for uh, class 163, the Chef Ralph Comstock Super Award, is going to go to the one who made potato chowder, which was Charlotte Douglas. <laughs> I'm Nora Spitznagel, the Chief Program Officer, and it's always my great delight to get to introduce the graduates. And I also, um, Kyle and John mentioned them, but I also want to introduce Ann King, who's our Employment Specialist, and Ashley Verna. <laughs> Ashley is our Culinary Job Training Coordinator, and they have been with them the whole time. Um, so our first graduate is Danette Smith-Bryce. heard about Serve Safe, but they've also been um, certified in CPR and first aid. They've had financial literacy classes, um, workplace behavior, and lots of other great stuff. The pen that they're receiving is from the National um, Lodging Institute. They are a nationally certified kitchen cook. If you'd like to take any pictures, feel free to join Keon um, in, the, in the photo pit over there. Carmela Brown. <laughs> Chef Bricker talked about the great field trip they had yesterday. Um, and I think the real icing on the cake was they had lunch at the cafe, and um, one of our graduates, Austin, was part of the part of serving them. <laughs> Dwayne Canada. Stella Davis. Charlotte Douglas. The graduates of this class also toured Riley Hospital Kitchens and actually got to jab sh job shadow and work along the, the chefs there, which was amazing. They um, went to Nicole Taylor's Pasta and worked with them. And then one of our graduates, Tierra, taught a baking class. And you heard about Elaine's um, durable skills class and, and dancing. So thank you for that. Keisha Young.
now for all of our favorite parts. You get to hear from the graduates. Sure. Sure, you get to hear from the graduates. Yes. <laughs> Danette, you're first. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Danette, Danette Smith Price. I'm very, very excited, very happy to be here, and I thank you all for coming to support us all. Um, also, I'd like to say first and foremost that I am um, very grateful and want to give praise to my Heavenly Father who has made it possible for not just me, but for all of us to be here and have this opportunity of a lifetime. So. Um, with that being said, I also um, like to say that for the past uh, 24, 20 years out of the 24, I've worked as a community health care worker. And so a culinary is a new profession for me, um, something that I've always been um, interested in, but I didn't, it didn't kind of bloom out until I left that one position and a profession to come over to something new in culinary is what I chose. Um, I'd like to give special thanks to our sponsor, Navant Community Fund. I'd like to also thank Ms. Linda. I'd like to give special thanks to Ms. Nora, Ms. Ashley, um, also our, our new uh, baking instructor, Tiara. Uh, she's been very helpful and a pleasure to work with. Um, also, i like to say thank you so much to our volunteers, the Second Helpings. They were all so nice and so pleasant every day that I came in, and I appreciate them. Um, let's see, last but not least, our chefs both are uniquely inspiring and have taught me so much, given me so much more life skills that I had before coming that way beyond my imagination. The life skills are so on point. I thank you guys. I thank you so much, Chef. I thank you tons for what you've done, what you've given us. I also like to say thank you to my team, my classmates. Thank you to Ms. Bree, who supports me, Ms. Kyla, who's my mentor, who came. And I say we all are the bomb.com. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. God bless. Carmela Brown, and uh, I just want to say thanks to the family, Second Helpings, Ashley, everybody. I can't name them all, but y'all know who you are. <laughs> and uh, I thank, thank you for the opportunity. Thank God, most of all, because he brought me all the way, and it was tough, but hey, I held in there. So, And uh, my mom, my family, friends, cousins, near and far, um, just everybody. And uh, oh, let me get this name out of the way. Uh, the Navy Community Fund, Sir, UMA, I don't know how to pronounce it, but S U K E M R. Sukumar, I'll be thanks. <laughs> Chef Cal, Chef John, thank everybody. And if I had to do it over again, my classmates, I'll do another seven weeks, but I'm out of here. <laughs> to say, but I ain't got no awards, so I'm going to go and sit back down. <laughs> but, uh, I want to say, uh, really, I want to say thank you to uh, the sponsors. I want to say thank you to the Recovery Cafe for uh, for believing in me and having a part of this growth. You know, I've been working in the kitchen at the Recovery Cafe for uh, like a year. And really, without them, I probably wouldn't be here. So 
I want to say thank you to them. I want to say thank you to the sponsors. I want to say thank you, Second Helpings, Chef John, Chef Cal. I'm a little shaky, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm up here shaking like it's wintertime. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to everybody and with that love. Appreciate it. Good morning, everybody. My name is Stella. I want to thank you, thank everyone who helped to make this happen. Our sponsor, especially Navy Community Fund, the volunteers, the second helping staff for making our dream a reality, and also for you, for all your kindness and caring ways. I'm so happy and grateful to be poor. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so happy and grateful to be part of this family. Thanks to my classmates, I really appreciate how we support each other. And it was challenging, but we made it. Thanks to my big supporters, my lovely family. Thank you guys for always be there for me. Thank you for believing me and push me on everything I do, especially my husband. Thank you for always telling me and showing me how proud you are of me. Mama, Mama. Yes. Mama. Okay, yes. You make me feel confident and strength. Thank you so much. microphone down a little bit because short jokes. Um, hi everybody, good morning. Um, my name is Charlotte and um, I'm so happy to be seeing in front of all of you today uh, just basically because um, I'm now a graduate of class 163. Um, it, was, it was challenging, very challenging, um, but most of all it was joyful. I mean it was, I enjoyed it. Um, there was a uh, a lot of learning that took place that I really enjoyed. The chefs were great. Um, I want to thank you, because you're awesome, and Nora, and Ashley, and Ann. Um, they were really supportive, and they kept pushing me um, through most of it because, you know, you got to where things were just, you wanted to kind of give up. But they were very supportive and just pushed me and so helpful. I mean, anything that I would have needed or anything, they were always there to help me and with good, good ideas. And, um, and my classmates, of course, they, they, uh, I should have got the I'm always late awards, what I should have got personally because they'd always say, be on time, be on time. And I really tried. I really did. Um, I just didn't get that done. But um, I'm really glad um, to have been here. The whole, this whole place is an awesome place. From the volunteers, just everyone, and they feel like a family. I look forward to coming here every day. I'm, I'm glad I made the choice to come here, you know, and found you guys. Thank you. I'd like to thank Second Helpings for, for having me in this program. It's very helpful. Thanks for my mother for to let me know about this program. Thank you for my family, my friends, everybody that came out to support me. Thank you for my husband that always had my back pushing me when I was wanting to give up. Thank you for the chefs for helping me, giving me courage to keep on going. Thank you for Miss Ann, Miss Ashley for being there, giving me the support I needed. Thank you for the program, thank you for the sponsors, and thank you for everything.
you all say family a lot, and that's perfect because you're part of the Second Helpings family. So I can't wait. You know, I have that window there partly because I'm nosy and like to see who's in the building, and I might ask you what class you were in, but Roy's happy to see you. And I know that you'll hear about it and you've heard about it, but um, we have a stipend program, which means when you get your job, if you check in, show us that you're working, we write you a check. So for um, starting a job, being on the job 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and then six months. So those are always happy to, to be able to hand you all checks too. So can't wait. And remember family, like remember to remind them. <laughs> Um, graduation day is always awesome here, but there's a lot of other amazing things that are happening. Right now we have a lot of volunteers that are helping prepare and deliver over probably 6,000 meals today, including 1,000 sandwiches that you can look at and see made. Um, we just celebrated preparing and delivering our 20 millionth meal, which is exciting and wild. Um, we have rescued over 51 million pounds of food. Other numbers that are exciting and hard to say. We couldn't do it without volunteers. Um, you'll see in our, especially in our hunger relief kitchen, the volunteers outnumber the staff four to one, if not more. It's a great volunteer experience. Come, you can ask any of us with a name tag about it, um, or visit secondhelpings.org and come and volunteer with us. I don't want to stand between the cake and you guys, um, but. They're going to take some class pictures first, hang around. We have some stuff for them, and then I'll cut the cake and we can party with them. So thanks. Welcome.